Hey guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to another crypto video of mine. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to undervolt your graphics card. Um, and the reasons that you might want to do that is two primary reasons. Uh, one is because your graphics card will run cooler and two, your graphics card will use uh, much less electricity. Um, so they're the two uh, primary benefits. Um, but also, uh, in addition to those, um, you'll get the same um, exact performance. Um, so you're going to be um, yeah, running your GPU cooler and using electricity, but you're going to be still getting the same uh, performance. So um, I'm on the Mac now, but what I'm going to do is uh, just remote log in to um, the computer that I actually want to show you or demonstrate this with. Uh, so this is the one I want to go for. I'll just um, obscure these details to keep everything private. So I'm just going to log in using um, TeamViewer. And this is the machine that we want to be working with. Just uh, close that over. Okay, so this machine is currently uh, mining uh, Monero. Um, it's an old machine uh, with a, an old graphics card. Yeah, the graphics card in it is a HD6870, which is quite a few, quite a few years old now. Um, but you can see it's working along um, about 284 um, hashes per second, and that's mining Monero. So that's just the background of this um, particular machine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of close everything down, um, and I'll just kind of like start from scratch for you. So this is your basic um, desktop. Um, the program that we're going to be using for the uh, under underclocking is called uh, MSI Afterburner, which is a free application. Um, so you can just download it, just do a Google search and download it. And this is what the basic sort of um, uh, version looks like. Um, so you, what you'll see is you have um, a couple of different options. I'll just start from the um, top. You have the core voltage, which is what we're going to be working with today. And um, that might be grayed out or not available to you. I'll show you how to turn that on. Uh, we've got the core clock, the memory clock, and then we've got the fan speed. So if you can only see the core clock, the memory clock, or some of these other options are grayed out to you, uh, the one that we want to be working with is the core voltage. So what we need to do is we go to settings. And then on just on the first, the general tab, if you look down, uh, you'll see this unlock voltage control. Um, you just want that checked. So check that and then click um, OK or apply and then OK. Um, it's possible that you might need to uh, restart your machine. Um, I couldn't say for sure, but if you're actually changing some of the settings, sometimes you have to uh, restart the machine. So if you need to do that, then just restart it, then come back to MSI Afterburner, and you'll have this core voltage um, unlocked. So what it's actually telling us now is the current voltage is 1175. So it's 11.75 volts is what the card is typically sort of uh, using or wants to use, or the, the current setting for it. Uh, we've got the core clock, which is 915, and the memory clock, we'll just leave that as it is. So on this particular card, I normally like to have it um, overclocked a little, so I run it at a thousand megahertz. So you wanna select whatever your normal um, core clock speed is. So if you normally run the graphics card overclocked and it's stable, then go with the same sort of settings. Or if you, or, or for simplicity, just go with the basic default settings. Um, what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna turn on the fan speed. Um, what I'll do is I'll just set it to manual and I'm just gonna set it to um, 75 and then I'm just going to click uh, apply so now the core clock is set to a thousand and the mirror uh, sorry the fan speed is set to 75 percent so there are basic settings you can see the temperature starting to go down although we haven't got any load the next thing you want to do is put some load on the actual graphics card so you're going to be using it in your normal sort of fashion so I'm going to go back and I'm going to start up the uh, Monero miner We'll just let that take a second to load up. You can see the uh, on the second sort of uh, chart, the GPU usage has gone up now to basically 100%. So we know that this is now working. Okay, so that's kind of our setup. We're now ready to actually um, undervolt the actual graphics card itself. So the top one is where we're gonna be starting with and so we're just going to select it and then we're just going to reduce it down by five. Uh, we're just going to go to apply. 
and that will have reduced the actual voltage down by five. You, you might notice that it kind of goes down by an extra one. Um, don't worry about that. If it goes an extra one over something, it, it doesn't really make it very much difference, but on average about five. And then what you want to do is just kind of leave the machine running for a minute um, and just to see whether it maintains its um, stability. Um, if it does, you can just go down again, another five. So there it goes. So it's going to take a little bit of um, time to get through this, but you just want to be going down sort of about five at a time. Oh, there's a little bit of lag between the uh, team viewer setup, so it'll be easier for you guys because uh, you won't kind of have that little bit of um, delay. So now we're, I was going to say trying to change it down to one 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 sixty, but it keeps on uh, offsetting. Uh, just change it down to the nearest sort of point that you can. Um, so. I'll just move it down a little bit more now because I kind of know what this card can um, take. So we'll go with uh, 1150 now and I'll just click apply again. Um, and depending on your actual, so we'll just keep on sort of doing that. Depending on your actual graphics card, you should see a reduction in the temperature possibly. Um, on this particular graphics card, it doesn't show up very well, but um, I've used plenty of other graphics cards and you can see like an immediate drop in um, temperature and what you'll also see is if you use like a uh, like a kilowatt voltmeter I've actually got one here um, if you've got like one of these um, little gizmos it will you'll see the actual wattage come down like immediately so that's uh, worth checking out um, so from there you just keep on going down and basically until your system becomes unstable so I know with this one I think we can go down to um, 1100 so I'm just gonna go all the way down um, also, uh, just a little tip, if you sort of hover your mouse um, over the actual um, slider bar, then you can use your cursor keys to go, it's more uh, precise, so you can just go left or you can go right. So that's just a little tip for you. Uh, so we're on 1100, I'm just going to select apply again. And then what you want to be doing is just each time you're sort of going down by about 5 or 10, um, just be looking out for a system instability. So if you start seeing any sort of like your graphics glitching or black screens, things like that, um, oh, here's a good actual a good indication. So you can see the actual we've got this message that says that the actual display driver um, stopped responding. So that means that your graphics card crashed. So what you need to do is um, just go back to reset. Um, it's also possible you might need to restart your machine if you if it seriously locks up. If you get like a black screen. Or, or anything like that, don't panic um, if you can't actually use the, the, your desktop at all. Um, just restart your machine, it'll, go, it'll boot back into Windows um, normally. Um, you won't have any sort of like serious consequences. Um, and then what you wanna do is you go back to the MSI Afterburner and then just kind of put it up about uh, 10 volts or something to where you actually was originally or at your lowest previous setting. Um, so I'm gonna do 1110 this time. I'm just gonna go to apply. Uh, we did have the, uh, just turn the fan back on and the core. So uh, let's just change that so you can get 1110. That won't let us. Sometimes it won't, if it's no big deal, just kind of get it back to where it was. And then um, I'll just fire up the uh, Monero miner again. Um, and either it will run or you might do like need to do like a full uh, machine reset. So we'll just see. Yeah, it looks like that's back up and running again. I just need to turn the fan back to auto. You can see our fan has sort of jumped back up there as well now. Sorry for all the uh, tool tab notifications, it's a bit glitchy. Um, so that is basically it for this one. So yeah. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, then leave them in the um, in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, so yeah, this was uh, under vaulting. Um, like I said, you know, whatever your uh, defaults are, then just, you know, go down from there. Um, don't be going, don't adjust your voltage upwards. Um, if you do that, you're going to be at serious risk of uh, damaging your GPU. So I wouldn't recommend over vaulting. This is uh, under vaulting. Um, so that's it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I say, leave your questions, comments, or anything in the box below. Um, anything you're curious about, um, let me know, and I'll try and make um, another video for you. Um, till the next one, guys. Take care. See ya.